Please, don't tell me what may never happen. Don't tell me to smile. Don't ask me to dance. Telling me to cheer up does nothing but widen the gap between us. The world is so bright, so full of noise, so full of people brash and bold. I am tired of standing next to you as you walk past me in the street, as you greet me in the shop, as you invite me to join with chitter-chatter, with the endless sociability, it is such a struggle. But I stand tall, my head raised, confident and strong and false. I am tired, my nerves shot. I need to rest from this pretense. I know my arms are strong, likewise my legs and back. I know my brain can function with logic, yes, but so much more. I know my heart bursts with emotion. I, I both love and am loved, but what if my strength causes destruction or fails me in moments of need? My head spins with thought and problem and sometimes solution. But nothing's done. As for my heart, the source of so much hurt, both empty and bursting all at once, and to have such things but fail to use them, Please, let me stay within my darkness. I know there may be better than this, but what if there isn't? What if this is the best? What if ignorance really is bliss? I know that light may bring joy. I hear the laughter of others. I hear sounds of affection, the sounds of the normal, sounds that turn the key to lock. I know that there are those who reach the stars. I know that there is much I could do. I know I could run and jump and sing and dance. But what if the light burns me? What if when I reach out I miss and fall? What if there's no one to heal me? and no one to catch me? What if I were to glow like a beacon unto others, and in my act I was the burner, and in doing I caused pain and hurt? What if in my greed to help I didn't, and damaged others in my failure? What if, like Icarus, my wings melt, and unnoticed I plunge to the earth, or worse still, put out the light? What if not being an angel is better than finding that I am a demon? Let me stay within my darkness. Let me lie silently and rot. I have slowly learnt to numb the pain and adopt the apathy that I have got. My childhood dreams have vanished. So too my hopes and aspirations, any pride my parents may have had, any value I may deserve. But in my darkness I can fail in silence. My sorry state can go unnoticed as I lie on a bed of guilt. I can fade away and do no harm until even my grave is forgotten. And I will breathe in. And I will breathe out. In. Out. One at a time. In my darkness and with my breath. So don't tell me what may never happen. Don't tell me to smile. Don't ask me to dance. And when the time comes, 
I will stand tall, my head raised confident and strong. As I hide in my darkness, as I rot away, away from the bright world, as I retreat into the numbing shelter, there is a spark, a spark that stirs, not strong enough to move me, yet it shakes me to my core. A spark that burns and stabs, a small light within the dark. It is a danger to me, as well as life. The dark is blind and ignorant, but the spark, so small, it illuminates my cave. I see myself, what I have become, my feelings, my loss, my waste my hurt, the empty vastness of the darkness no longer shelters but crushes me, no longer can I lie here, with fear, with shame I push, naked I rise against the pain, despite what you may think, the spark holds no hope, it is not a beacon of brilliant light, but a tiny dot, and yet it is the rousing of desire, a question in the mind. It is an idea and a feeling, the hunger to be kind. It is anger and hatred, love and joy. It is feeling the sadness, a breath, a heartbeat, the salty wetness of a tear. It is, and before, it wasn't. It is what remains of me that even in the darkness will not die. I can remember my darkness. I can see it, always, in the back of my mind, an airless, bottomless pit in which to fall. I remember the spark those days of pushing, of pulling, of ripping. I remember the struggles with doubt, with belief, with loss, the risk, the weakness, but also the lack of choice, suffocating. <sighs> that first breath, the drive given by the spark, a swirling mind looking for an anchor, for perspective, until I open to the light. A moment of stillness, the darkness slipping, anger and struggle fading, and then... Peace, reflection, quiet, resistant and strong, I look at the world, visible, vulnerable, away from my dark uterine shelter. My small world is once more big. I can see, I reach with real hunger. I must feed. I cannot wait, for there is no time. I want to search. I want to feel every moment. I don't want to dance. I have no choice but to dance, to skip and hop into hope, my body so full of life, my brain exploding with wisdom, I am electric, I am animal, I am invincible, there is no worthy problem that I cannot solve, I hear everything and everything has meaning for a moment. I feel I could fly better than Icarus, fly on wings made from pure will, no weight to hold me down. I stand where I have stood before, then with the risk to fall, but now with the hope to soar. I jump. How great it feels to fly so high, the life pulsing through my veins, unstoppable, creative, joyous, the entire world is my friend, and I know this confidence will never end. 
But depression is like gravity. It may be a trip, a sudden fall, a drop that sends me plummeting towards the earth, or it may be the gradual, unnoticed pulling on my joints. Like gravity, the silent crook of depression grabs me and pulls me down. The only chance I have, the only way to stay in the light is the constant search, the non-stop feeding on stimulation, the perpetual effort to stay up high. But nothing I find can sustain me forever. And there are so many things to trip on, and people who want me closer to the ground. They do not know the danger that the ground holds. I need rest, safe rest. I need to shelter from the increasing whirlwind, just for a moment, just for a sleep, just a little time in the shade. But the shade fills me with fear. The shade pulls at me. So what if it's a trick, a trap? You see, the shade is just one shade away from the darkness. So I avoid the shade. I choose to fly. I fly with increasing speed and height, with each beat of my wings becoming weaker, thinner, more and more desperate. Joy turns to frustration to anger, to fear. When the damage is done, I fall. Crashing past the shade, I fall. Then, once more, I wake in the darkness. So please, don't tell me what may never happen. Don't tell me to smile. Don't ask me to dance. I know I will fly again. Once more I will soar and change the world. I know this, just as I know that the darkness never really leaves.